Hello there, Ben Bowers, the Spirit Specialist, and I am here today to talk to you about Sheepdog Peanut Butter Whiskey. I know what you're thinking. Ben, you call yourself the Spirit Specialist, you're supposed to be selling top quality premium products. What the fip are you doing with Sheepdog Peanut Butter Whiskey? Bear with me on this. Before I tell you what it tastes like, let me give you a little bit of background information about the brand itself. Or maybe I won't actually give you some background information about this because I don't really have any. There's not a lot to do with this uh, on the internet. Um, when I'm doing a video and talking about a whiskey or a gin or a rum or whatever it is that I've got on the shelves that I want to talk about, I try and do a fair bit of research beforehand to give everybody some background information. And with regards to this, there's barely anything. Um, any reference to this pretty much talks about what is on the website. And the website itself has very little. It basically says what is on the label here, which is liqueur blended with peanut butter flavor and whiskey, which doesn't particularly sound attractive. Um, on the back, it's just blurb. Uh, you know, sounded a little nutty too. Grab a bottle of Sheepdog, break away from the pack, woof down some, I mean, it's just like, oh, come on, give it a rest with the puns. So um, the only thing basically that I know about this is it's owned of all companies by Sazerac. Sazerac, who own the Buffalo Trace Distillery, responsible for Weller and Eagle Rare and Van Winkle, and they distribute a load of other really well-known brands. And they've got this. Now, Sazerac also distribute, and I think they own, Fireball. So it's not like they're doing super premium bourbons and they don't do anything else that is actually pretty rubbish. And I really don't like Fireball. However, um, I was sent a sample of this. Uh, basically, the distribution in the UK, the guy that I uh, was speaking to said, you know, oh, we've got this new thing called Sheepdog. It's peanut butter whiskey. Do you want to try it? And I was like, yeah, because I will literally try anything. They sent me a bottle. To try and um, here is the sample bottle and this is what I've got left of it now I've given this to some customers but to be honest I have had probably about a quarter of this bottle because I have never had so much fun with a bottle of spirit let alone whiskey as I did with this so now you're thinking Jesus Ben you've absolutely lost it but I'm gonna tell you why and it all depends on whether you like peanut butter or not that is as simple as it is, because this does exactly what it says on the tin. There is another brand out there which is pretty well known if you're watching in America called Screwball, and I don't believe it is available in the UK. This is the first peanut butter whiskey that I've come across. No, I tell a lie as I'm saying it. I have seen another one where it's actually a peanut butter and jelly whiskey. About a 50 cl bottle, can't remember who it's by. And I kind of went, what, when I first saw this. But I'm gonna try and find that and give it a go because I would have absolutely turned my nose up at this until I tried it. Now, what I will say is I have this chilled. What I found is that at room temperature, it is pretty sweet. It is a sweet whiskey. I don't know if you can see that as you're pouring it because I was doing it under the camera, but it's quite thick. This is a whiskey liqueur, although it is uh, 70 woof, 70 proof, because woof and proof don't sound the same, 35% uh, um, ABV. So it's liqueur, but it's a, it's a strong liqueur. Um, this is kind of closer to whiskey, but it is quite thick and sweet. If you like peanut butter, uh, if you like peanut butter, you're going to like this. If you like sweet things, you're going to like this. I think. If you don't like sweet things generally, if you don't do liqueurs, if you don't do desserts when you're having dinner, you're probably not going to like this. Right. Let me try and give you an indication of what this is like. So on the nose. Now I have this chilled because what I found is that at room temperature. The sweetness that's inherent in this really does kind of overpower it. You know, even if you're kind of mixing it and things like that, the warmer this is, the thicker and sweeter it becomes. So do bear that in mind. I would say, I've just taken this out of the fridge, it's been out for about 10, 15 minutes, but I would say it's definitely better chilled. Now on the nose, as you would expect, it says it on the label, it's peanut butter. It's a sweet peanut butter but it has a slightly spiky element to it, as though this is not smooth peanut butter, this is crunchy peanut butter that's got those bits of peanuts in. Because there is a slightly sharper edge, and there is almost a hint of salt in there as well. As though it's salted peanuts, it is sweet, and some people are gonna go, oh God, that's so sickly sweet, and I get that, but if you like sweet stuff, and I kind of do like sweet stuff, there is enough going on in here that it is not just sugary sweet. It's actually quite interesting. The peanuts that are there sort of evolve a little bit on the aroma. 
you do get like a salted pretzel element in there as well but you you get this kind of like sweetness that's underlying there is kind of two levels to the aroma on this I really like it you know I when I was a kid I used to hate peanut butter and it's only in recent years that I've kind of got into peanut butter and jelly sandwiches now the PB and J sandwiches that I have aren't grape jelly because we don't really do grape jelly in the UK but what I found is seedless raspberry jam and peanut butter in a sandwich absolutely fantastic but on to the whiskey so yeah I really like this nose there is almost a fruitiness to it as well it's surprisingly well balanced although there are people that are just going to go I get nothing but sugar I, I get it absolutely get it right on the palate So even chilled, there is a thickness to it. Considering this is 35%, it's still very thick, very syrupy, but it's got elements of golden syrup to it as well as peanut butter again. But there's that saltiness coming through. It really is like salted peanuts, golden syrup, again, sweet, unctuous, very, very pleasant if you like it sweet. I really, really like this. Annoyingly, I liked it. The first time I tried it, which was at room temperature, it turned up in the shop. I was like, fine, let's give this a go. Cracked it open, did a little dram, swallowed and went, ah, oh, that's annoying. I actually really, really like this. I want to do things with this. And I have, I've done fun things with experimenting with cocktails to see how it works. It is too sweet for some cocktails, but it works really well with the others. And I spent about 10 days playing around with this because I was determined to find a PB and J old fashioned. Old fashions are one of my favorite cocktails, particularly with whiskey. And I really wanted to, I was like, I'm gonna find if I can nail a PB a PB and J old fashioned. Got there eventually. I have a strawberry jam and black pepper vodka from the Sheffield distillery. Didn't really work. The black pepper kind of doesn't work with the sweetness of the peanut butter. The strawberry was coming through and it kind of worked, but it wasn't, it was too black peppery and that was it. I've got a fragola, uh, the Italian wild strawberry liqueur. Bit, it's a bit too sharp on the liqueur side of it, of the strawberries. It was a sharper strawberry. It needed a little bit of sweetness, but it didn't quite have the spiciness either. What I eventually found, ideal, purely like playing around and purely by accident, is sheepdog, peanut butter whiskey, liqueur, esprit de figue, uh, fig liqueur, which is a little bit sharper. It's also a little bit lighter. So it tempers down the sweetness on this. The fruitiness is a little bit sharper. And then if you add, old fashioned bitters or any kind of bitters, and also Egbert's cocktail cherries, which I do sell, which are uh, dark like Amarena cherries, but they add old fashioned bitters into the syrup. So you get that lovely cherry spiciness that is probably closer if you're American to like a grape jelly with a little bit of spiciness. You get that peanut butter element comes through. It works, it really does work and it balances everything out. It doesn't allow the, the, the sheepdog to become too sweet as this could be in a cocktail. Long drink, still don't quite know what it works with. You know, I've tried ginger ale, doesn't really work. I don't think this necessarily works in a long drink and this is not the dominating flavor in a cocktail apart from the PB&J old fashioned, but it's just fun. And here's the thing, is that is a good thing. There are people that are instantly gonna look at that and go, that's the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Well, have you tried it? Well, why would I want to try it? Well, give it a go. If you've tried it and you go, that's one of the worst things ever, fine, but don't prejudge it without actually trying the thing. I would have looked at that previously and not gone anywhere near it. I've tried it and bloody hell, I really enjoy it. And it, it's annoying that I do because I'm supposed to be a proper drinker. Clearly I'm not, but I've had a whale of a time with this. And that is what this is all about. It's pretty reasonably priced. We're looking at, I can't remember how much I'm selling it for now, 25 99 So it's not gonna break the bank, but you're gonna have a lot of fun with it. Give it to friends that are coming around. If you've got people coming around, we're now kind of coming out of a pandemic at the time of recording. We can have friends around. If you've got some whiskey drinkers, put some of that in there and don't tell them what it is and just look at their face. They might turn their nose up at it and they probably won't talk to you again. Nah, well, that's their problem. They're obviously a bit of a miserable sort. But with people even that aren't whiskey drinkers, you know, people that don't really like whiskey may well like that, that like liqueurs and flavored gins and all sorts of things like that. You have so much fun with that and I absolutely respect it for that. I really like it, I really enjoy it. It's not for everybody and that's not a problem at all. So I do recommend it, I really do, and I recommend giving it a go. If you like whiskey and if you like peanut butter, 
you're gonna like this, honestly. You know, yes, you might not like sweet stuff. Well, okay, that's fine, whatever. You probably want something a bit sharper. I'm really intrigued now to try Screwball. I just don't think it's available in the UK. But yeah, this is the reason why I've got it on the shelf because everything in this shop I've tried, everything in this shop I have on the shelf because it excites me, it interests me, it makes me smile when I'm drinking it and I'm thinking, oh, this is really, really good, I'm having fun. And that is why Sheepdog is on there because I've had so much fun making cocktails with it, playing around with it, sharing it with people, going, do you like peanut butter? Yeah, do you like whiskey? No, not really. Well, give this a try. And then trying it, going, oh, oh, that's actually really nice. Oh, I really like that. Yeah, I'll take a bottle of it. That's what it's all about, and that's why I have it. So don't dismiss it. If you see it on a shelf, give it a go. I'm not saying buy the bottle straight away. It's an absolute must-have, but anybody in their right mind, a proper spirit shop, will be able to have this on the shelf and let you try it, and I do. I've got that much that I might not drink myself for customers that are coming in and actually want to give it a go. So Sheepdog, available uh, through our website, www.spiritspecialist.com. I always feel like I'm doing an extra W when I say that. Um, we do UK nationwide delivery, but if you can make it into the shop in Howden, in East Yorkshire, just off the M62, you're more than welcome to try it before you buy it. Give it a go, because if you don't like it, then you haven't wasted money buying a bottle. But if you do like it, you'll know, and you'll know you'll have fun with it. So Sheepdog, and I know there's some people that still don't believe me, even after 10 minutes of absolutely rambling on about it, but. It's great. It's really, really good fun. So trust me on this. Give it a go. That's me done. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.